You want me to put that on my todger? Harry's wife. The sex tape. Blackmailing Harry. Sex tapes have become all the more ubiquitous. Once upon a time, you had to get a camcorder, stick it on a tripod, and either encourage the other person to, hey, why don't we make a sexy film together? Or, let's record our lovemaking, and then watch it back, and it'll be horny. Or, in other instances, somehow set the camera up in a wardrobe, with the door only being slightly open, or some other means of disguising it, so that the person would be covertly filmed. With the advent of hidden cameras, and of course, camera phones, it has become increasingly easy for people to film when they make the beast with two backs, that when they discuss Ugandan affairs, when it's time to have a game of hide the sausage. In the first blushes of the relationship, many people find themselves making a sex video. It's often a bit of drunken fun, and it doesn't necessarily mean that the person who has suggested it is a narcissist. Plenty of non-narcissist-involved couples end up recording their hanky-panky, and it goes no further. Indeed, sometimes it's deleted the day after as a consequence of waking up and feeling a little bit embarrassed about the drunken shenanigans from the night before. Or in other instances, it's just left in the corner of the phone, never really looked at again. However, narcissists, particularly of the somatic and elite variety, regularly utilise the creation of a sex video. The reason for it, well... There are actually several reasons. Usually, it's done during the golden period, when everything is wonderful and amazing between the narcissist and the victim, most usually the intimate partner primary source, although it can often be done with intimate partner secondary sources, both of the shelf variety and dirty little secrets. The narcissist suggests it, not for any notorious or nefarious reason, but simply because it is a means in that moment of asserting control over the victim by flattering them. Come on, let's film our hanky-panky. You know you're so hot. I want to have a memory of it so that I can look at it later. It'll be so hot if we do this. And you were invariably cajoled, coaxed, and with lashings of lubricating alcohol, often end up agreeing to do it. It seems fun, and you're flattered that this person wants to film you together. The narcissist does so in that moment to assert control over the victim and, of course, draw fuel from them by way of their response. Remember also that the somatic or elite narcissist regards themselves as an absolute Olympian between the sheets that they regard themselves as beautiful, attractive, handsome, whatever it might be, and therefore relish the opportunity to show off their shagging prowess whilst at the same time filming it. The knowledge that they are creating this film panders to their sense of grandiosity and the ego. You are an all-too-willing participant, or even where you're a little reluctant, you get drawn into it all the same. It may well then be watched back straight afterwards, and the narcissist receives fuel by watching your reactions again, but also experiencing your reactions to watching the sex film. It's all good in the narcissist's world. The narcissist may bring it out again, but to only does so in the privacy of your relationship, saying, gosh, when you did this, that was so, so good. You are flattered once again, and you respond accordingly, providing fuel to the narcissist. There isn't a problem. However, later on when you're devalued, one method of devaluing you is to share this material, or... Utilize the threat of sharing. 
when you enter the sustained devaluation as the intimate partner primary source, the narcissist has painted you black. At this point, the narcissist needs to assert control over you. And with an unaware narcissist, the narcissism essentially considers, what have we got available so that we can assert control over this individual and draw fuel from them that's in the black box of devaluing manipulations? And like opening up some kind of toy box, the narcissism roots around inside and then goes, ah, look what we've got here, a sex tape. The narcissist doesn't care about you, has no emotional empathy for you, acts with a sense of entitlement and without accountability, and therefore in the circumstances will readily either share this with other people to triangulate you so that their reaction gives them a secondary subconscious sense of control over you along with associated fuel or brandishing it. You better do X, otherwise I'm going to send this to your mum and dad use of threat. See elsewhere how the narcissist uses threat for a greater detailed explanation of that, but understand that a narcissist will regularly utilize the existence of a sex tape as a means to triangulate you through the use of threat to compel you to do something else, if only to plead and try, thus receiving lashings of delicious negative fuel. The aware narcissist will film you in the golden period with the full knowledge that that could be used against you should the need later arise. That is because the aware narcissist, the greater or the ultra, is thinking ahead. It isn't a given that the type of narcissist will definitely use the sex tape against you because, of course, you're in the golden period. But showing that awareness and calculated nature, when an aware narcissist films... Part of their mind is on the fact that this could prove useful at a later juncture. The unaware narcissist does not think in such terms because they're wholly focused on the moment. And as I've just explained, it's at a later juncture when you are in devaluation that the narcissist looks around, in effect, for something to devalue you with and finds in its box of tricks the existence of a sex tape. If you found yourself in such a situation and want to know whether the narcissist will use the sex tape or other sensitive material against you, you can go to the Knowledge Vault and obtain Will the Narcissist Use the Sensitive Material Against Me? A comprehensive logic bulletin that goes through these scenarios and offers you practical help. I'd recommend you use that. But what about Harry? Well, this is a relationship with Harry's wife that has clearly been founded on Two things, essentially. Lashing's a spicy poontang and an apparent understanding for his vulnerabilities. We can park that as it's not relevant, really, to the concept of the sex tape that's blackmailing Harry. Harry himself has admitted that Harry's wife would let you do anything. And when friends have told him about her being a bit of a nut job, he's protested with, yes, but she's so hot. Clearly thinking with little Harry, he has, like many other victims of a narcissist, fallen prey to the way that the narcissist uses sex as a major weapon of seduction. Accordingly, in the early throes of the golden period, he will have been given so much spicy poontang he didn't know what was going on. It would be coming out of his ears. He really thought that he'd hit the jackpot combined with Christmas and his birthday all rolled into one. Whatever he wanted to do, she'd do it. Now, you may be aware that a gentleman called Kevin Blatt has claimed that he has seen a sex tape involving Harry's wife. And as I understand it, the sex tape was created with some photographer or filmmaker that she was seeing. And in this, the gentleman in question is on his back, legs up in the air, whilst Harry's wife is eating out his bottom. Oh yes, she's getting down and dirty with a frenzied rimming of this individual. Blatt is forthright in his views that it is Harry's wife, which tells us two things. One, as we already knew, she is up for anything sexually, and two, 
She has no problem with being a participant in a sex tape. It is highly likely that at the outset of the relationship between Harry and Harry's wife, she will have filmed their hanky-panky. He will have gone along with it, possibly spliffed out of his mind, possibly pissed, but either way, content to do it, because he'll have seen it as a bit of fun. And he'd have thought, well, if all else comes to pass, I'll just get MI5 to deal with it. No, in actual fact, he wouldn't be thinking that far ahead, because he would just be thinking of, gosh, she's so hot, she'll let you do anything. Accordingly, she'll have persuaded Harry, and he won't have taken much persuading, to allow the filming of them doing something. Whether it was the roasting of the chicken, performing a Turkish snow cone, engaging in a, in a German tightrope, whatever it might have been, it will have been filmed. And you can bet your last dollar that it won't have been some mundane missionary position mm, how are you liking it babes yeah take it Ooh, yeah but it will have been a full-throated full-throttled get down and dirty activity harry's wife as a somatic narcissist uses sex regularly as a means to seduce and manipulate men she will literally do anything and harry dirty little boy that he is loves it and laps it up She'll have undoubtedly have compromised him by causing him to be filmed doing something which, if released to the general public, would probably cause sniggering but more noises and expressions of disgust and distaste. When she did this, she did not create it thinking, <laughs> I can use this later. She just did it as part of triangulation in the moment to assert control over Harry and draw fuel from him. But I would lay money on the fact that such a sex tape exists, that such a sex tape contains Harry doing something that would, he would be embarrassed about and humiliated if it were made public. Now that he's in the sustained devaluation and the fact that she has no emotional empathy for him, she will repeatedly threaten him with the potential release of this sex tape. She'll have made a copy, probably stored it with Doria, the lieutenant. And when Harry steps out of line, she will make mention of it, quite possibly performing a mockery of the acting question to remind him, Oi, ginger bollocks, I've got you on film doing this. To bring him back into line to provide fuel from him. In effect, blackmailing him with it. As matters progress towards disengagement, she will utilise the existence of that sex tape for the purposes of blackmailing him in terms of control, in terms of drawing fuel, but also residual benefit vis-a-vis -vis money. It may well be that she has then edited it so that she's perhaps not included or that you can't necessarily see her, that it might be it's just Harry performing something solo, or even if it is the two of them, she will then suggest that he forced her into it. If it's perhaps filming something where he's more dominant with her, she will certainly play out the victim mentality. This is what he was like in bed, forcing me to do all manner of horrible and nasty things that I didn't want to do. Of course, Harry falls for it, is involved in the filming, and then thereafter, when her narcissism needs something to assert control over him, it lurks in that play box and pulls out the sex video. There will be a sex video that exists. She will be using it against him. Whether it will see the light of day, probably not. But the fact of its existence is something that's going to pose a headache and a problem for Prince Harry. Given his predilection for doing the nasty, and the fact that he probably gets up to some real freaky shit encouraged by her, and the existence of the fact that she's engaged in a sex tape already, as Kevin Blatt has described, all points to the fact that one will exist in relation to Harry, and it will be used against him. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.